Hey everybody, Mrs. Bianchi. We're looking at question number four from the unit 1A quiz, which is, this is a little challenging, so I thought I'd give you some help. Um, number four says, Sayali drew the design shown with sidewalk chalk. The design has four identical shaded parallelograms joined together. So I'm just going to show you one of them. I'm going to drag this over. There's one of them. And this happens to be, um, there are mirror images. Like this is obviously the same, but the other two would be if I flip this and rotate it, um, that would match. Each parallelogram has a base of 12, which they show you here, and a height of 21. That's perpendicular to the base. So therefore that's the height. What is the area in square inches of the unshaded part of Sayali's design? Now, to figure that out, we probably should start with finding out what if we didn't have this shaded region in it and we just had this rectangle, this blue rectangle. Like, pretend we're just looking for the area of this rectangle. Wouldn't we be multiplying the base times height to find the area of this blue rectangle? And what are the dimensions of the blue rectangle? Well, the base is 48. Oops, wrong color. The base is 48 and the height is 42. So we'd be multiplying 48 times 42. You're going to do that on your own and you're going to come up with some number. So I'm just going to leave like an empty box, but you need to come up with that number and I need to see that on your piece of paper. That again, just to clarify, that will be the area of this blue rectangle. Now we also need to find the area of one of the parallelograms. And that's also going to be base times height. And what's the base? The base is 12. What's the height? It's 21. See the dotted line perpendicular? You'll multiply these numbers together. And you'll have some number for the area of one of them. So you'll get some number, and I'm going to leave a box here. You'll put that number in the box. Now keep in mind, we have one, two, three, four of those. You need to take whatever this number is and multiply it by four, and you're gonna come up with a new number. Now that's gonna be the area of the shaded region, right? That'll be the area of the shaded region, what you're gonna put in this green box. That won't be the answer. What you need to do, it says, remember it says, we're interested in what is the area in square inches of the unshaded part. So in other words, the white part, the white part. So if we take this number and we subtract it from the area of this blue rectangle, which you would have gotten by doing 48 times 42, you'll subtract this number from this number, and whatever you get, I'll make a yellow box for that, that will be your answer. So let's do a quick recap. Step one is find the area of the blue by multiplying these two numbers together. Step two is find the area of one of the parallelograms by doing 12 times 21. Multiply that number by four to get the area of the shaded parallelograms because there are four of them. Subtract that number, whatever number you put here, put it in this box, subtract it from whatever you have in this blue box, and what you have in this yellow box should be the answer. So there are a lot of steps. Just, uh, you know, take your time, be careful, make sure you put all the work down on your piece of paper, and you should have no problem finishing this up.